part 1 circular motion tayo ngayon. Problem 1 natin, a car tire is 40 inches in diameter. How fast in RPM the wheel turns on the axle when the automobile maintains the speed of 35 miles per hour. Itong RPM ay revolutions per minute. So magkaiba itong mga units na ito. Una natin gawin, itong 35 miles per hour, convert natin siya sa feet. Kasi kapag ginugel mo siya, ang 1 mile, equivalent siya sa 5,280 feet. Tapos meron tayong 1 hour dito, or 60 minutes over hour to dito. Ito ay 1 hour. Cancel yung hour, cancel yung miles. So ang sagot dito ay 3,080 feet per minute. So ito na yung velocity natin, or speed. Tapos itong diameter, naka-inches siya. Pwede natin sabihin na 40 over 12 feet or siya ay 10 over 3 feet. So meron tayong tire, bilog siya. May diameter, dito yung center. Ang 1 revolution, equivalent siya sa 1 circumference. Ibig sabihin, ang 1 rev ay pi d or circumference. Ibig sabihin, ang circumference natin ay 10 pi over 3. So, since ang diameter natin ay 10 over 3, so ito na yung circumference natin. Ito yung 1 revolution. So, masasolve natin yung revolution per minute. Meron tayong velocity na 3,080 feet per minute. Multiply natin siya sa 1 rev over 10 pi over 3. Feet to. So, cancel yung feet. So, ang 1 revolution dahil dito, pi d, ito ay pi times 10 over 3 feet. Kaya naging ganito yung circumference natin. Sagot natin dyan ay 294.12 rpm or revolutions per minute. Ito yung sagot natin sa so number 1. Problem number 2. A flywheel turning with an angular speed of 1750 RPM is brought to rest with a constant acceleration. If it turns 50 revolutions before it stops, what time will lapse before it stops? Dito naalala nyo sa constant acceleration natin, may formula tayo na final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times yung x or y, depende sa coordinate natin. So, pwede rin na D or distance. So, dito sa circular motion, mag-iiba lang yung symbol. Parang W siya, ganyan. Squared is equal to initial angular speed plus 2 times acceleration. Tapos yung distance natin, uh, angle na siya in radians or theta. In radians to or in revolutions, depende sa given natin. May given tayo na revolutions tsaka RPM, revolutions per minute. Substitute natin dito, ang final angular speed natin since brought to rest siya, 0, equals, yung initial angular speed natin ay 1750 RPM. So, i-retain lang natin yung RPM, naka-revolutions yung unit. Squared natin to, plus 2 times acceleration unknown, theta natin ay 50 revolutions. Di pat dun sa kabila, magiging negative 100 A equal to 1750 squared over negative 100 over negative 100 ang acceleration natin or yung deceleration na siya kasi negative negative 30,625 revolutions per minute squared so since ang unit natin dito ay revolutions per minute so magiging revolutions squared na siya per minute squared tapos meron tayong rev dito So, ito yung matitirang unit. Ito yung acceleration natin. Tapos, may formula tayo na angular final is equal to angular initial plus acceleration times time. So, the same lang din to dun sa constant acceleration. So, final angular speed natin ay 0. Ito ay 1750 RPM plus negative 30,625 then times time. So, lipat dun sa kabila, magiging positive 30,625 T 
is equal to 1,750 divided by 30,625 dito din. So, ang time natin ay 2 over 35 minutes. So, since RPM to, revolutions per minute, tapos ito, revolutions per minute squared. So, minute na matitira or multiply natin siya sa 60 seconds is equivalent to 1 minute. Wala naman sa tanong. Pero pwede na tong sagot na to or pwede rin natin gawin siyang seconds or 3.43 seconds. So, ito na yung sagot. Problem 3. A wheel starting from rest is to accelerate to reach an angular velocity of 30 radians per second in 6 seconds. How many revolutions does it make in the process? So, may given tayong angular velocity, to ay final angular velocity na since nag-start sa rest. So, ang initial angular speed natin or velocity ay 0. Ito naman ay 30 radians per second. Then, ang time natin ay 6 seconds. Hinahanap ay yung revolutions. Meron tayong formula, angular velocity final is equal to angular initial plus acceleration times time. Ito ay 30, 0 yung initial plus acceleration times 6 or yung time. So ang acceleration natin ay 30 divided by 6 ay 5. Since ang unit natin ay radians per second, tapos yung time natin ay seconds, ibig sabihin ito ay radians per second squared. Ito yung acceleration natin. Tapos meron tayong formula, yun, theta is equal to angular initial times time plus one half times acceleration t squared. So the same lang din doon sa constant acceleration natin tsaka sa free fall tsaka sa projectile motion. Hinahanap natin dito yung theta or yung revolutions. So ito ay 0 yung initial angular velocity natin. 1 half times 5 times 6 squared. Ang theta natin ay since ang unit nito ay radians per second squared, ito ay seconds. Matitira dito ay radians. So, 90 radians. Hinahanap ay revolutions. So, multiply natin siya sa 1 revolution ay over 2 pi radians. So, the same lang yung 1 revolution sa 2 pi radians. Cancel yung radians. Ang sagot natin ay 14.3 revolutions. Last problem natin. A Ford Everest whose acceleration is 0.7 meter per second squared travels along a circular road of radius 30 meters. When the instantaneous speed of the automobile is 5 meters per second, determine the tangential acceleration. The centripetal acceleration and the magnitude and direction of the total acceleration. Itong Ford Everest whose acceleration, so drawing natin, ito yung center, ito yung circular road. For example, ito yung point na yan. So itong line na to, or itong direction na to, itong path na to, tawag dito ay tangential acceleration. Ito naman, papunta dun sa center ng road. Tawag dito ay centripetal acceleration. Mag-draw tayo ng ano dito, parallel lines sa kanila. Tapos ito, papunta dun. Tawag dito ay total acceleration or net. Ito ay pwede rin sabihin na acceleration net, acceleration total. The same lang din yun. Ang theta na hanapin natin dito or yung angle, with respect to tangential acceleration. So, ito yung tangential acceleration, centripetal acceleration. Yun ang pinagkaiba nila. So, may acceleration tayo na 0.7 meters per second squared. So, yung car na yan, umikot siya dito. So, yun yung tangential acceleration. Meter per second. So, ito yung sagot natin sa letter A. So, letter A, tangential acceleration is equal to 0.7 meters per second squared. Centripetal acceleration, makukuha siya sa formula na centripetal acceleration is equal to velocity squared over radius. So, meron tayong given na velocity which is 5 meters per second. Squared natin yan over. Yung radius natin ay 30 meters. Ang centripetal acceleration natin ay 0 0.83 meter per second squared. Ganun lang siya. Para ma-solve ang total, 
So ito ay bumuo siya ng right triangle dito. Ito ay tangential acceleration din ito, tong line na to. Ito ay centripetal acceleration para makuha yan tong acceleration total. So acceleration total squared, so Pythagorean theorem, centripetal squared plus tangential acceleration squared. So square root mo siya, square root din dito. So ang total acceleration natin ay equal to square root ng 0.83 squared plus 0.7 squared. So total acceleration ay 1.09 meters per second squared. Or ito yung tinatawag na net acceleration. Para makuha yung direction with respect to tangential acceleration tayo eh. So ito ay the same sa centripetal acceleration. So tingnan natin tong triangle na to. So tangent theta. So ito yung theta natin. Opposite over adjacent acceleration centripetal or centripetal acceleration over tangential. So ang theta natin ay arc tangent centripetal acceleration ay 0.83. Then over 0.7. Ang direction natin ay 49.86 degrees. So ito yung sagot dito sa theta na to. to. Total acceleration tapos angle.